everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's the Poodle Mom again with the Two Toy Poodles. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some important tips to speed up your potty training. If you guys are interested in that, then please keep on watching. Number one for me is you gotta make sure that you do your potty training alongside crate training. I've been getting a lot of questions regarding this, which comes first. For me, it happens at the same time. The potty training will be supported by the crate training. So what is crate training and how does it work well with house training? Crate training uses the natural instinct of a dog to den or have a safe place where they can run to when things are overwhelming for them. And it's natural instinct for them not to pee inside their den, which is why it's the perfect place to control when they will do their business or not. Now, can you do potty training without crate training? To keep it simple, yes, definitely it's very possible. But the method that I shared, it will not guarantee you in less than three days. It'll take a lot longer if you don't crate train your dog. Another tip I can give you is to take three days off when you pick up your puppy. So that those three full days, you can set things right and set the rules right. Let's say if you're gonna pick up your puppy, schedule it on a Friday so that you can take a leave on a Friday and then you have Saturday and Sunday off. Or it depends on your situation because I know some people have work on the weekends as well. Whichever works for you, try to set up at least three full days so that those three days you can strictly follow your schedule. Next step is to always prepare in advance for your puppy. Even before bringing home your pup or even before deciding on your pup, decide as a family or maybe if you're, you're living alone, decide where you will set up your supposed potty training or crate area for your puppy even before they arrive. So the next step is to set up a very strict schedule. When I say very strict, I mean very, very, very strict. What do I mean by that? Even at night, yes, you will have to wake up and make that sacrifice for those three days that I said. It's for that reason, so that you don't have an excuse that oh, I can't wake up because I have to be working the next day and I cannot stay up late because I have to be working the next day. It's gonna take you a longer while. I'm not saying it's impossible. It is still possible, but it'll take you longer than three days to potty train your pup if you don't do it strictly. Now, you're gonna be asking me how you're gonna be able to know how long they can stay in the crate before you let them out. Or how long will you know how to set up your schedule when they need to go and when they need to go back to their crate, especially at night. Usually, the number of months that your puppy is equate to the number of hours that they are able to hold their pee. So let's say for two hours, that's two months old, three months old, three hours, four months old, four hours, so on and so forth. I have a previous video where I illustrated how I was able to create that schedule. So feel free to check it out after this video. So the next tip is to control the liquid and food intake of your puppy. So the logic behind it is so that you will be able to predict when your puppy needs to go. Usually puppies need five to maybe 30 minutes or even longer for them to relieve themselves after they eat or after they drink. So more or less, you have that time frame where you can let them out to do their business. I always make them go inside the crate so that they rest and they don't get excited and everything, not to mention it's bad for them to play when they're super full because that in and out of the crate creates more of a routine that every time they go out of the crate, they need to do their business. And that's where you can start adding commands when you need to. But again, this is just a general guide. Every puppy is different. Every dog is different. Every breed is different. Every person for that matter is different. Use this as a guide to make things work for you. And then last but not the least is to have a lot of patience. Puppies can be very, very easy, but they can also be very, very, very difficult. Please understand that your puppies are not humans. They will not understand human language. Screaming at them, getting mad at them will not work. But doting on them when they're doing something bad is also not gonna work. You do not want to follow every bidding of your pup. You want them to turn into animals that will assimilate with your lifestyle. The reason why there are so many dogs that are being returned to shelters is because they were not able, the owners were not able to teach the dog how to assimilate in their lifestyle, in their culture. It's unfair to blame it on the dogs because more than likely it's the humans that are not able to do so because you were the one who made that choice to bring that animal in your home. So you are responsible in finding a way to communicate to that animal to do what it is that they need to do in order to fit into your own lifestyle. So we hope you enjoyed the video and maybe learned something from it. Feel free to comment down below if you have other suggestions and tips that work well for you when you use the method or maybe some other method. We would be happy to know and I'm sure it would really, really help this community as well. Also, if you haven't watched our previous video where I shared how I potty trained Finn in less than three days, I will link it up in the cards above as well as in the description box below and we will see you there.